it's great that everybody wants to get on the SAF train, but they don't want to buy any tickets. So mm -hmm. it's very hard to see how this train is going to leave the station. That's why I think India has a good chance. If you get all the stakeholders involved, the biggest one being the government, then you can make some progress because SAP is only going to get off the ground with government help. So I think as you rightly said, across the globe, it's aspirational at the moment. Yes. So if you look at SAP production right now, it covers about 0.3% of total mm. consumption, mm. which is tiny. So to even go from 0.3 to 10% in the next essentially four years, that seems, seems difficult. Difficult, yes. <laughs> Aspirational. Coming to the Indian market, so how would you compare the current size and growth trajectory of Indian business aviation with mature markets like, say, the US or Europe? I operate in the US, so we operate aircraft in the US. Obviously, the US is the biggest market. Yeah. 60% of global market got approximately 15,000 business jets in the US, whereas in India, you have less than 200. You know, you've got 1% of the fleet that you have in the US. So mm. it's India is a tiny, tiny market as, as a part of the global market, yeah. but it has a lot of potential. The economy here is growing massively. Obviously, there's wealth growth here. So the more that the wealth grows, the more that business aviation becomes something that um, people with the wealth uh, mm. want to move into business aviation.